Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to preview files without actually opening them. So it's called Quick Look and it's based on a feature that Mac OS has where you could just select a file, press the space bar and then get a preview of that file without having to open it. So this actually comes in handy too if you don't even have the application to open that file and I'll show you what I mean by that. All right, so before we begin, there are a couple ways you could get it. If you go to the Microsoft Store and do a search for Quick Look, look for this icon. You could get it from there. You could also go to GitHub and get it from there. But if you do, you might want to try the MSI file rather than the zip file. So this will give you an installer where you can install the program. This one will let you do it as a standalone but there's a note up here saying you need to unblock it before extraction. And I'm not sure what that means because I was able to unzip the file and run the executable, but it didn't seem to work when I did it. So maybe it'll work better for you. So you have a few ways to get the program if you decide to use it. And this will not work with every file type. So for example, it will not work with Microsoft Office files, you know, Word and Excel, but there are plugins for other types of files that you could actually install in the program. And I'll show you that as well. So when you go to the plugin page, you can see here we have one for Office programs here, and I'll show you how to install a plugin. Okay, so we have it installed here. Let's go to the Documents folder here. So this computer doesn't have Office installed on it, so no Word or Excel or anything like that. So let's try a text file first. So just highlight it, press the space bar. And then you can see what's inside of it. Then if you click on this icon here, it will open it with the default app that is associated with that file type and if you click on this one here it'll give you a list of what you want to open with so if i just do this it opens it in notepad and if there's a file type that's not supported like this one here you see it just gives you some information but you could still click on this icon and open it with a supported program if you have one all right so let's try this pdf for example you can see it opens it up and we have a preview and we could see the files and you have the same options here. Then you have a full screen option as well. All right, so let's try this Word document here and see how that works. All right, you can see that works pretty well. You could also do with image files. And here's a PowerShell script. It'll even open that. Okay, so now let me show you how the plugins work. So here's the Office plugin. So you do the same thing. Just select it, press the space bar. Then there'll be an option here to click here to install this plugin. Then you need to restart Quick Look to have it take effect. And you can just go down your system tray, right click, quit, then find your icon, start it up again. And then you'll be able to open Office files. All right, so once again, you have the option to install it from GitHub. Uh, probably use the MSI or do it from the Microsoft Store. And then you have your plugins. So I will put a link in the description for the GitHub page and also for the plugins page. And then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.